I'm gonna show you how to pull a blood feather. So I had Elvis out with me. And since he grew, grew has been grown in a few flight feathers, I just had to see if he could actually fly back to his cage. He said right to the floor and that resulted in getting one of his blood feathers. This one. Um Lucky is teasing the budget right now. So I'm going to show you how to pull a blood feather. Um I've got my pliers, unfortunately I lost the spring in here. Um but that's not gonna make much of a difference. Um there is blood on the counter right now. Um I had it took me like five minutes to try to find the not five minutes, I'm exaggerating. It took me a while to find my pliers, but That's blood on the counter. And it is most likely from Elvis. There's who else is right now, huh? So, we're just going to try to grab underneath his wings. There. Oh, and now I. Oh, blood just got in my mouth. And it's all over the camera now, and counter, and floor, and me, and the big blob on the floor now. Okay. Well, I know, no, no, that, that is definitely the blood feather. Um, stay still. Well, he has blood all over his head now. It's okay. So. Oh, I just touched it. Now I'm just going to grab his wing. And he is not gonna like this. And now I have a lot of blood to clean up. When pulling the feather, you pull an angle. Um. Pull at an angle so it doesn't hurt the bird as much. Um, because flight feathers grow in at an angle, so. Uh, oh, there is blood everywhere. I'm surprised he's not bleeding to death. That's a lot of blood for a cockatiel. Oh. Oh. I've got blood stained on my shirt now. I have to make sure they're not on my glasses. Well, it's on the wall as well. Um, sorry, Elvis. But it had to be done. I also have a bunch on my finger. But that's a lot of blood. Surprised he did not bleed to death. That's how you pull a blood feather.